Even the groundbreaking was larger than life, with the 80-year-old donor driving a huge yellow backhoe that eclipsed the traditional shovels in the ground ceremony. Nancy Carroll Draper gave $13 million to make it happen. African wildlife conservationist and world-renowned anthropologist Dr. Richard Leakey was the keynote speaker at the Draper's grand opening in June 2002. On that same day, actor Clint Eastwood toured the first natural history museum of the 21st century. It was not just the first, but the first of its kind. It exhibited the sights, sounds, and smells of Yellowstone country. The man who designed the exhibits wrote the labels and even took many of the pictures in the Draper had a new idea for a natural history museum. We're integrating many different ways to experience nature and to explore nature. Museum representatives from around the country and the world came to study the new immersive institution. The Smithsonian, the Utah Museum of Natural History, the French National Museum of Natural History in Paris, the Natural History Museum of the Adirondacks. The Draper hosted travel programs in Yellowstone country and as far away as the Galapagos. In 2011, the Draper debuted a new live raptor program that has educated and inspired thousands at the center and in schools and communities all over the region. And in 2013, the Draper's scientific partnership with the University of Wyoming and the Prince of Monaco Foundation brought the Royal to Cody. That collaboration gave $300,000 to three scientific studies in the greater Yellowstone region. We're very happy to have this partnership with uh, the uh, Buffalo Bill Center for the West, uh, the Draper uh, Natural History Museum. The Draper's own long-term study of golden eagles in the Bighorn Basin drew national attention as the subject of a PBS documentary. But at first, there was fierce opposition to the construction of the Draper. The Buffalo Bill trustees were concerned about the cost of the Draper, and rightfully so. But board chair Alan Simpson, trustee Willis McDonald, and founding curator Charles Preston convinced them to build the only natural history museum focused on Yellowstone. For MTN News, I'm Penny Preston reporting with Yellowstone Revealed.